Do you think you've mastered emergency medicine? Let's put your knowledge to the test. A 29-year-old male presents after a stab wound to the chest. He is hypotensive, tachycardic, and in respiratory distress with absent breath sounds on the left and tracheal deviation to the right. What is the most appropriate initial management step? So what are we going to do to treat attention pneumothorax? Very simply, the first line treatment is needle decompression. And what we're doing when we decompress the lung is allowing air to get out of the pleural space. So if I've got a big high pressure air collection here in my chest, the goal of decompressing is to make a conduit between the inside of my chest and the outside world that'll let that air escape. And what's gonna happen is that's gonna equilibrate the pressure inside of my pleural space with the atmospheric pressure. However, it's not gonna make my pneumothorax go away. It's not gonna actually restore negative pleural pressure. I'm still gonna need a chest tube, but it's going to decompress the large air collection that is mechanically interfering with my cardiac function and my pulmonary function, and it's gonna improve the clinical status of the patient very rapidly. So I do wanna emphasize, it's a temporizing measure. It's not definitive treatment. What you're really doing when you decompress is you're taking a tension pneumothorax and you're converting it into a simple pneumothorax. Needle decompression is also not indicated for simple pneumothoraces because it doesn't do anything for those patients. We only use it for unstable patients with tension pneumothorax, and the goal is to restore their normal perfusion and normal oxygenation while we go about providing them with definitive treatment.